What's up guys, this is Anthony Vates. I'm here with a first look and unboxing of some products. We have the iJoy Maxo Quad 18650 mod, we got the iJoy XO RTA tank, and the iJoy XO XL tank. Um, the mod and the RTA tank actually won in a contest from Heaven Gifts, so I definitely want to thank them for that. They were actually nice enough to send me the RTA tank, it's supposed to be a random tank, but I told them that I kind of already had the XL and ordered because I already had ordered one. And they said, no problem, we'll send you the RTA tank instead of the, the XL tank. So definitely appreciate that from them. So let's go ahead and get this unboxed and take a look at it. <clears throat> and I might as well start off with the mod. Opening stuff on cameras, never quite fun. Oh, never mind. They actually make it easy to open. It's a wiggle box, just wiggle it out. And there we go. Let's see what else we got in the box here. We've got USB cable. We've got a baggie of different panels. So they actually send you a whole bag of different panels, which you can go ahead and put onto here to make it look how you want it to look. We've got warranty card and user manual. Should be the same as most of their mods, so I shouldn't really need the manual. And that thing is kind of large. Let's go ahead and pop a couple of these on here. See how easy it's to do. There is a lot of choices. I just hit my camera. Wow, are you serious? A lot of choices. Well, that sucker's shiny. Some carbon fiber, supposed to be like some sort of wood grain look, it's like a sandpaper look. Got some green something. Goes there, sandpaper. Huh. I don't know, what do we all think? <laughs> I actually kind of like it. <laughs> I probably shouldn't, but I actually kind of like it. Gives a little bit of a character to it. Probably look good with a silver tank. But I think the black's gonna match this design a little bit better. Alright, so I put one on already. It's pretty simple, it's literally just a sticker. So I peeled it off the other one. You also make sure you peel out the holes there on the top. Those are for the battery vent holes. And we're just gonna sticker it on. Probably a good idea to use them because it looks a little unfinished without it under it, but that definitely looks a lot nicer. Alright, so there's your top 510 pin. We're gonna have your buttons fire up and down. Here's your bottom where it shows you the battery diagram. So you have positive, positive, negative, negative. When you pop this open, it says the same thing in here. Battery set one, battery set two. So this is gonna be battery set one right here. Negative, positive, battery set two, negative, positive. That means that it runs um, two sets of series batteries running in parallel. So it's a series parallel. So it's series set, series set, and they're running together in parallel. Alright, let's take some measurements of it and then we'll throw some batteries in. So, max width over here is going to be about 41.5 millimeters. I guess we'll call this the depth. It's going to be hard to measure because it's rounded, but not really. We're looking at about 63.5. Height, about 89.5, 89.7. The 510 pin itself is actually only about 16.5 millimeters. So I, this is not going to handle a 30 millimeter tank, but it should handle a 35, but we'll go over that when I do a full review on it. It says Maxo up there. This one's the blue design. It does get a little fingerprinting. A USB port. 
Let's go ahead and pop some batteries in this. I like to use a full set of four married batteries. Huh, so you kind of go, so you definitely want to probably pick it up and angle it when you do this. Keep the batteries in place as you put them in. Here's my positives, and here's my negatives. It's definitely a tight squeeze down, but not a big deal. I do see it's tight enough squeeze that there's a little gap there. Definitely see a little tiny gap there. But everything's nice and tight and locked in. So I don't anticipate it being a problem, but... And it's solid enough that it still sits just fine. So not a major ordeal, but it would have been nice if it sits flush. All right, so the mod already turned itself on. I wonder if there's a screen on this. Usually there is a little plastic cover on this. I can't really tell. Yeah, it looks like there is. Yep, all right, let's peel that off. There we go. That actually looks a lot nicer, doesn't it? So we got no atomizer, one, two, three, click, steal anything, yep, takes you to the menu, so it's the same as most of the iJoys. You have your nickel, titanium, stainless, power mode, flip the screen, and user um, preheat. So let's go power mode, adjust the wattage, it has battery monitors for each set of batteries, so that's pretty cool. You're going to have your own reading, your voltage. Yeah, it looks like a puff counter. And this is supposed to go up to 315 watts, I believe. Take a look at the box here. Does it see anything? No, the box doesn't have any information like that on it. But the manual probably does. Let's see if the manual's halfway decent. Pretty basic. There's the measurements they took. Pretty close to what I said. 315 is correct. It says 1 to 9 volts. Output current 1 to 50 amps. Temp range 300 to 600 Fahrenheit or 150 to 315 Celsius. Wattage mode resistance 0 0.06 to 3. That's pretty cool. It'll go all the way down to 0 0.06 in wattage mode as well instead of 0 0.1 like a lot of devices. Firmware upgradable, yes. Output Voltage, titanium, nickel, stainless, and special user mode. Power on, power off, vaping, menus, same stuff I said. Temp mode, same stuff, okay. So I'm not going to go over how to use the whole mod, that's basically just the first look at it. Um, just, I do like their user settings, so just to show you how to do it. It's for the preheat, so there's normal, hard, soft, and user. User is going to give you these little uh, bars. Each bar is half a second. So if I put this, let's say 192, 192, 176, 176, 176, 176. So if I did that, basically it means it's going to fire 192 for a second, 176 for two seconds, and then it'll go down to the 130 for the rest of the time. So that's how that works. So yeah, that's the first look at the Maxo. Quad 18650 mod. Go ahead and take a look at the other item I won first, I guess, from Heaven's Gift, which is the EXORTA. I just started a new video for it. We'll spice them together instead of one long one on video. Open this bad boy up. Ah, I'm so stupid. It has the same little easy open strap here. Damn it. One of these days when I'm not looking through the camera, it'd probably be easier to not do retarded shit. Alright, so we have the whew, 
EXO RTA tank from iJoy. Warning, blah, blah, blah. I don't care about that. iJoy, got your little uh, scratch and check for authenticity. Back provides flexibility with a single end dual coil deck along with a 2.2 milliliter and a 6 milliliter extension tank. 26 millimeter diameter. Interchangeable decks, top fill, juice flow control, wideboard drip tip, adjustable airflow. So yeah, definitely one of the huge features that I like about this is the fact that you can basically have four configurations. You can do single or dual coil, and both configurations can be done in two milliliter or six milliliter capacity. So here is your bag of extra goodies. They got some coils in there. They actually look pretty decent coils. Screws, cotton, and your other deck. I'm not going to worry about the extras, but I will definitely take a look at this deck. This is going to be an Amit style deck, similar to the Geekvate Amit. Your airflow is going to come from under here. That's your juice flow control. Not your juice flow control, but your juice holes. So the airflow, that's interesting, is going to go from under there and right up underneath the coil. I'm guessing, or oh, maybe not. Yep, there it is. There's the hole. So, right there. Okay. So you got air coming in from down here. That goes underneath the coil. And then you also have this little side air vent. Where did I find it? Right here. For that. So that's actually pretty cool that the air comes in both ways. This is made for single coils. And I very much like that. That is a very nice looking deck. And also, um, with iDroid's interchangeability, from what they say, and I will test them, is you can use these same decks for the XOXL tank as well. And I believe the Maxo V12 as well, because it comes with an adapter to use these. So the fact that you can use you know, these decks on all your tanks is pretty freaking cool. Alright, let's take a look here. This is the larger chamber of the 6 milliliter capacity. But that's going to come with... Only one glass, right? right? Yeah, huh. So yeah, it only comes with one glass for the six milliliter. It comes stock with the two milliliter. And they give you a spare glass for the two milliliter. So you actually only get one spare glass in there for the six milliliter configuration, but you get two for the other one. That's interesting. Do they have it? This is one six milliliter glass. One six milliliter glass. Did I missing something? Did I pull it out and move it to the side? This was in there. Maybe I did. Maybe I pulled it out. Let me pause and make sure I didn't miss something. Alright. No, I don't think I missed anything. Everything fits back the way it should. And now that I'm actually reading it, it has a 6 milliliter capacity extension and the 6 milliliter glass. This is the two separate parts. So you actually only get one 6 milliliter glass, but realistically, if you were to break it, I'm pretty sure they're easy to find at a reasonable price. Ah, what is that? Something's came broken, looks like. Don't know where that came from yet. Oh, it didn't come from this tank. That's in good shape. No, that's in good shape. Come from here. Nope. Huh. Oh, there we go. So it actually came from the outside cover, so that's fine. It's not actually glass, it's just outside plastic. No biggie. So here's a look at the tank. We'll go put this stuff back here. And I've obviously never opened this or anything, but they should all be the same. Unscrew it. Pop goes the O-ring. That's just the one that goes on the base here. No biggie. Alright. So this is the 2 milliliter section. Take a look at this coil deck. Assuming this is going to unscrew. Yes, it does. And here's the deck. Does this pop out? I don't know. Nope, it's unscrew. Okay. A little tight there for a second, but not too bad. Again, here you go. You got a little o ring stuff on the bottom, it looks like. Yep. And I gotta stop tipping my camera. It really gets in the way of me sometimes. Okay. 
So, very nice, and that's completely interchangeable. So here's the single coil one, and I would just screw this in. It comes out the bottom for the 510. And there we go. To be honest though, it doesn't really protrude a lot, so I really wouldn't recommend using this on mechs. Just stick to the regulated mod for this one. That doesn't really stick out too much at all. A little bit too much my comfort, but there we go. Very nice. And it unscrews. So yeah, I gotta say, pretty, 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 pretty impressed with this so far. That's basically the first look of it. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back together. And the way it looks like it's gonna fit. Can I fit the big one in here? Yeah, let's try it. So we're gonna set it up for the big dual coil deck and six milliliter extension. Take a quick look at it. So you just screw the deck in, we screw this part of the chimney on, which also has the juice flow control. So you have your juice flow control holes. And you got your airflow control down here on the bottom. And your little EXO logo with a little ohm symbol and little lightning bolt. Signed by iJoy. Very nice. Alright, so we're going to put the big section on. So the glass just goes on. And we'll just go ahead and screw it. And then we take our top part. Totally forgot about this. So we need to separate the chimney from the top part here. Actually comes off pretty smooth from for from the factory. And we're gonna go ahead and screw it onto here. There we go. There's our six milliliter one. Drip tip. Looks like a pretty standard 510 drip tip. Take a measurement. I should have took a measurement with the two milliliter on. We'll save it for the full view, but I will do a quick measurement here. Not including the 510, so about 51 millimeters high. And the base, 26 millimeters. So, yeah, I would say they nailed it. That's my first look at the XO RTA tank. Let's go ahead and pop into the XL tank. All right, last but not least, the iJoy XO XL tank. This is the one I actually purchased for myself. Got the gold. So it should match up nice with some of my gold mods. This time I'm not going to go full stupid on it and I'm actually going to open it the way it was intended to. Right here with the little tab that peels off. Ah, really? There we go. You'll be like, don't do this to me for the third time tonight. Okay. <laughs> you just come off. It's hard to see this wrapper through the camera because I'm actually looking down through the camera, so. Cut me a little slack. Here we go. Comes in the same kind of box. Take a quick look at the specs. 26 millimeter as well. 5 milliliter capacity. Top fill system. Comes with a pre made XL C2 coil, 0.3 ohm, and a pre made XL C4 coil, 0.15 ohm. Rebuildable dex optional which are the two decks you've seen in there, which was the uh, 2S and the 1. The XL2, I believe, is a dual post, but one hole per post. And that one you can buy separate. I prefer the ones that came with the RTA, which is the XL1 and the XL2S. Delvin wideboard drip tip and adjustable airflow control. Everything else the same. Take a look at it. The nice gold. Oh, yeah. That is nice. All right, let's put it down, we'll zoom in. So we get spare glass, 
the C4 coil. I'll take a quick look at this coil here. I believe these are supposed to be like chip coils. They have chips in them, so it looks like these are four or eight coils. Hard to see through the camera. Here, I'll take a quick look myself. Yeah, I can't really see, but it looks like a four coil, which would make sense if it was a C4, but then again, nope, there's Clapton's in there. I see it there. So you have your non-resistance wire. And then the Clapton part's probably uh, tacked on to it, so it's kind of like the, the way most of the coils are, the Cleto coils and stuff. So I'm not going to take it apart here. I'll save that for the video. There's a chip in there that's supposed to light up when you hit it. But I'll save that for the review stuff. Bag of extra goodies. This actually has a 510 adapter, so it doesn't have the 510 drip tip like this one did. This says wide board drip tip too. Huh. Well, we're going to have to clarify those in the review. So good old extras. And now let's take a look at the main attraction, the tank itself. That is a very nice gold color tank. The wide board drip tip. We'll check out the um, compatibility with it on some other ones as well. It's about 12.1 millimeters wide. Which means this strip tip itself here would be... 9.5 is how much air you're actually getting. All right, we'll guess that everything just unscrews because that's usually what they do. Sure enough, there it does. Seam O-ring on the bottom of the glass. You have your little X cage there. Your coils are already preset in there. There's your coils in it. Um, I was given some tips from a friend that said they pack these too tight. So it's best to actually um, pull out some cotton in there to open up and pull out some cotton for it. Uh, maybe I'll just do that on the camera just to get an idea in case people need to do that. Outside of that, this part just pops off because it's O-ringed. O-ring's a little stuck to the glass. Not a big deal though. Make sure you get them fixed because if your O-rings a little twisted up, you might get leaks. So get that fixed up there. Okay. This part I'm guessing will unscrew. Oh, it's turning. Take that as a positive sign. Sure enough, there you go. Cage comes off and coil. Prepare the two coils here. Pretty much the same size, actually, they kind of fit into each other, funny enough. <laughs> actually just screw into each other too <laughs> that's pretty funny that's actually pretty funny alright cotton from out of there and from the top if you need to it does look packed in tight you can see there against the wall I don't know if it's going to be able to make it through that and that to actually work itself So I'm actually going to take this out for now, and I'll save that for later because I'll probably just start by using this coil here. So that just screws into the coil base, the little X part screws back on. Glass part. You know, in tanks like this, they don't have a juice, uh, juice flow control, air flow control only. They don't need a juice flow control. There you go. Very nice.
And here's your giant air on the bottom. Take a little blow. Well, it's definitely a lot of air going to come out of there, so we will see how it goes. Alright, so that was the iJoy XOXL tank. And a quick look at all three things. Definitely want to thank Heaven Gifts for the contest, and well, I'll thank myself for the other one. <laughs> thank you guys for watching, and I will have reviews on these in the future.